If you use the Prime app from Loop Community, you can use the MIDI Out feature in their app to control the slides in Easy Worship. This is an amazing feature because it will allow you to set up the MIDI cues ahead of time so you'll never miss a slide or have a slide show up too late. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your iPad to your computer running Easy Worship and how to create the MIDI cues in Prime to control your Easy Worship slides. The first thing you need to do is make sure your Easy Worship computer and your iPad are connected to the same network, whether it's Wi-Fi, LAN, or both. There are a couple of utilities you'll need to install on your Easy Worship computer to make the connection work. The first is Bonjour. This is a service that allows your iPad to connect to your PC through a Wi-Fi connection. To install Bonjour, go to the Easy Worship support page at support.easyworship.com and search Bonjour. And select Installing Bonjour for Easy Worship Remote and MIDI over Wi-Fi. Follow the steps on that page to install Bonjour. Once that is complete, open Easy Worship and click the Remote button on the toolbar. If you don't see a Remote button, you'll need to enable it in the Edit menu and go to Options. Then click Advanced and check the box next to Enable Remote Control and click OK. From the Remote button, hover over MIDI and click the plus button in the bottom left corner to create a new MIDI control. When the MIDI control window opens, click the link in the bottom left corner that says More Information to download and install RTP MIDI. Easy Worship uses RTP MIDI for the network connection between your iPad and PC. A browser window will open with instructions and a link in the top right corner to download RTP MIDI. Once installation is complete, go ahead and launch RTP MIDI. In the top left, you'll see a box named My Sessions. Click the plus button at the bottom of that to create a session. It should now show a session with your computer name. Check the box next to it to enable that session. Just below that, you'll see a box named Directory. This will list all devices that it can connect to. You should see your iPad listed here. If you don't, make sure it's on and unlocked. Select your iPad and click Connect. You'll now see your iPad listed in the participants list on the right. You can now close out of RTP MIDI and go back to Easy Worship. In the MIDI control window, you can create a control name. The input MIDI device is going to be this PC, so click the drop-down and select your PC name. If you want to use a specific MIDI channel, select one here. Otherwise, leave it on any and then go to the input cues tab. Don't get overwhelmed by this screen. All of the notes are already set to work with Prime so you don't need to change anything here. But you will want to leave this window open to reference what notes you want to use for creating the cues in Prime. So now, let's go to your Prime app on the iPad and set up those cues. The first thing you want to do is click the settings gear in the top right corner. You'll see an option for MIDI cues connections. This should already have your PC name listed, but if it doesn't, Tap it and select your computer name from the list. Add a song to your set list, and then tap Edit Song, and then Edit MIDI Cues. If you like, you can press the Zoom button to make it easier to see where you're adding the cues. My song will start with a blank slide, so there aren't words on the screen during the intro. So I want it to advance to the second slide just before verse 1. If I look at Easy Worship, the note to advance to the next build, or slide, is A, or number 9. And we're already on a negative 2 octave. So in the Prime app, 
select Note On under MIDI, and number 9 or A under Note. We can leave channel on 1 since we're using any channel, and velocity can stay on 1 because we aren't using that for this cue. You'll use velocity if you want to jump to a specific slide or schedule item. For example, the note for a slide number is 16 or E. So I could select that under Note in Prime, and if I wanted it to go to slide 5 in the song, I would choose 5 under Velocity. When Prime hits that cue in the song, it will jump to slide 5 no matter what slide you're on in that song in Easy Worship. Tap Save to save that cue in the song. You can set up all your cues including black screen or clear screen or whatever you want it to do by double tapping where you want the MIDI cue to be. Once you're finished, tap Done at the top of the screen. Now go back to the PC and click OK on the MIDI control window. The last thing we need to do for setup is click the remote button on the toolbar in Easy Worship and hover over MIDI and next to your MIDI connection, click the lock button to unlock it and allow it to receive the MIDI cues from your Prime app. From the Songs tab in Easy Worship, find the same song you are working with in Prime and add it to your schedule by dragging and dropping it. If you need to edit the song to match the MIDI cues you set up, you can right click and edit it. If you need to, you can go back to the song in Prime to match the cues with the slides in Easy Worship. Now you can go live to your song in Easy Worship and when you play your track in Prime, your slides will advance each time it hits one of the MIDI cues. This is an amazing feature and very helpful if you use Prime for your tracks and Easy Worship. You can set up all your songs with MIDI cues and not even need anyone at the computer except to initially go live to the song and you'll never miss a slide cue again. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing Easy Worship.